welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. Today, we're taking a look at the Clay de Bell Holiday Collection. I do have a full review on this collection, and I picked up quite a few different pieces from it. So we have one video kind of going over all of those items and swatches and so forth, but then I've got a couple of get ready with me that use this collection, so you can kind of see these in action. And today, you know, uh, we did a look inspired by the Clay de Peau, uh, holiday eyeshadow duo. There were two duos, one with like a blue and a peachy pink shade and one with a pink and a purple shade. So this one is obviously uh, in, in homage to the blue duo. And then we use some other items from the holiday collection. So uh, if you're interested in that, tune in and let's see how everything performs. All right, so we're gonna just do a quick get ready with me using some Clay de Peau products. This is the Clay de Peau Radiant Corrector for Eyes in Ivory. And I just have a tiny bit of that on. I have the Syrah Perfectionist Primer on my skin and the Viseart Eye Primer on. This here is actually a mix of the Radiant Natural and Radiant Matte Foundations. And I'm using the Guerlain Foundation Brush. This is the Essential Foundation Brush. And they call it retractable, but really it's just that this comes up and there's a little lid, which makes it great for like traveling and stuff so you don't get your brush all dirty. You know, you could throw this in your purse or something if you want it to. But I just find it to be a great little brush in general because it's soft and it does a nice job. All right, so you can see I have plenty of foundation left in my hand. I'm just going to wipe that on my cloth. And then... We're gonna let that sit for a second and move on to eyes. Now, the Clay de Peau Holiday Eye Collection has two eyeshadow duos that came out. So one's like a purple and a pink, and another one's like the, a peachier pink and a blue shade. And I decided not to pick them up, but I wanted to try to recreate the blue look a little bit. This blue is not going to be the same, but it was kind of reminiscent of it. So this is the blue. You can see this one has a little bit of a color shift in there. This is a Cleonata shade. It's called Calx. And then we're going to use Pudra from Surat for our peachy shade. Oh, that's very light. Hmm, hold on. Let me find something a little bit more pigmented on my skin. Okay, so this is another option, but again, this is going to be like sparkly. That doesn't quite give off the same vibe. This one here is from Lethal Cosmetics and it's called Arcade. Um, you know, I think we're gonna stick actually with the Pudra. You know what? I completely forgot I had this. <laughs> this is the Viseart Grande Pro one or GPX one that recently came out. Let's actually try this shade here and this one and see either of these look like they would be a better fit. Let's see here. There's a pink, and let's put this here at the bottom. There's the peach. I think it might actually be a good mix in between the two of these. I, I don't know, actually maybe just a peachy shade. We're gonna go with these two. So I wanna see what kind of look I can create just using those two shades. We're gonna go into the peachy shade here with this brush here, there we go better lighting. That was the Sonia G Crease Pro. And I'm going to add a little bit of this to the crease right now. And then we're going to um, actually work with the blue mostly first. And the Clay de Peau one, they are both more matte shades. So this blue is definitely going to be a little bit different, but I thought it'd be interesting to just kind of get an idea of the color story. All right, so now I'm going into the Cleon, I can never say it right. I'm really, I always wanna pronounce the D, but the, the Cleona um, <laughs> shade in Calx. I'm not sure if that's right. I thought it was supposed to be Calyx, but there's no Y in there. So uh, anyway, got that on the Sonia G Soft Shader and just gonna start brushing this on the lid. 
You can see that this shade, it's a beautiful blue with like this shimmery duochrome essence to it. See that like pink shift there? That's obviously not in the Clay de Peau shade, but that's okay. It's just such a pretty shade. Okay, and now I'm dipping back into the Busy Art Peach shade here. And we're going to go in from the inner corner and kind of blend into the blue just a little bit. Just feathering that in. All right, and that's it for the mobile lid. And just going in with the crease with no, no product on the brush. And really, I just wanted to kind of see this color story and how it worked. All right, so really, I just kind of wanted to see this color story because I was really tempted by the eyeshadow palette, but you know, I figure I have similar shades already and I don't use them that much. So I probably wouldn't use the duo too much. So these are the two we ended up using. This is the Cleona Calx, which is one of the round shadows. And then this one here is this peach shade. It's the third row on the Viseart GPX one. For eyeliner, I'm taking the Gris Graphite, or Graphite, uh, which is number 42 in the Chanel Stilo Yo line. And just gonna put this along the lashes. And you can see I'm just kind of going in a little haphazardly because I want it to be not super, super fine. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of the gray here to the outer third. And then I'm gonna blend that out a little bit. So I'm just gonna take the soft shader that I use on the eyes and just very softly kind of spread that a little bit. And I wipe the brush off, but honestly, if there's any shadow or anything left, it doesn't bother me. All right, so that's it for the eyes. I'm gonna add some mascara and then- All right, so I was thinking originally that we would go ahead and play with more of the, the pinks and the cooler tone ones, but actually let's go ahead and use Warmth's Magic. This is the peachier of the cream blushes. So I'm gonna get a little bit of this on with my finger and we're just gonna kind of put this on with the finger on this side. We'll use a brush on the other side. The brush is my preferred method with these. Uh, I do have all of the shades in the permanent line. I haven't opened two of them yet, but I did pick them all up now. <laughs> so there's Warm's Magic. And let me show you with a brush on the other side. All right, so this here is the Chikahoto T3 brush. And you can see it fits perfectly in here. You can get up a little pigment. And this, you know, you can just kind of stipple on with this or you can kind of buff it in as well. This brush is just, it's perfect for these. I'm just wiping, I just wiped off any excess on my cloth because I had a little bit too much product. All right, so brush versus finger. I think, you know, they end up both looking beautiful. So it just depends what you gravitate more towards because you know, sometimes you don't want to dip your finger in a jar. All right, so I'm just going to add a touch more here with my finger to kind of make them a little bit more even. All right, so here's Warm's Magic. And then I picked up both luminizers. Let's go ahead and open up the warmer toned one. By the way, these come with plastic on it and does have a little pull tag just so you know so when you, you pick this up it they all of my pieces except for the lipstick case set like the one with all the mini lipsticks this one comes sealed with tape on the sides but everything else has been wrapped in plastic so when you open this you've got the palette here you have tucked behind a little green case you can see it's got the key that kind of goes with this like secret garden theme and this is the luminizer. I think it is stunning. I hope it works for me because I, I just couldn't pass it up. It was so pretty. So you do have like a firmer piece of plastic here. They do recommend keeping this and putting it in there. And it's, you can see it's much stiffer than what you get from most brands. 
And then look how cute this little pink brush is. It's really pretty. So we're gonna take the detail brush from the Sonia G Lotus set. But first, let me just show you, this here is overspray. So I'm actually going to kind of wipe this off with the brush. So you can kind of see, that's what it looks like without the overspray. Super pretty with it, but you know, it's not really an accurate representation. So I did wipe this brush off, but you know what? I think we'll actually switch. We'll use a different brush just to be sure how much, um, you know, shimmer is truly in the product. So we're gonna go with the Chikahoto KZ3, which is one of my favorites. So just got some powder on here. Just tapped a little bit excess off here. And look at that. Yeah, this luminizer, I, it's, it's not too dark. It does have like a peachy golden hue to it, but it's not like, um, you know, it's, it's not that, that gold. It's not too like yellow or anything. Look at that. So clean up luminizers are great for a more subtle highlight. You can make it a little bit more impactful, but it's never gonna be like bling disco ball type highlighter. All right, I'm just gonna add a little bit more right above the eyes, right under the brow. Just kind of go with the eyeshadow a little bit. I have to say, I, I really like really like this luminizer. And we're gonna pair this with one of the little mini lipsticks. So this has a little bunny on it. And this one here is shade number five in the mini set. It's Camellia and yeah, this is one of the Rouge à Lever lipsticks. These have a two-year shelf life. And this little five-piece set, you have two different finishes in here. So you've got the, the cashmere and the regular ones. So let's see here real quickly. Are they, yes. So the Rouge à Lever matte versus the Rouge à Lever, which is what we're going to be using today. And there are two matte shades and three of these. They call them a semi-matte, but I think most people actually consider them a satin. I have never tried these, so let's see how this looks. A little bit deeper than what I want for this look. I mean, I knew it was gonna be a little bit deeper based on the bullet, but yeah, this it's an interesting shade. You can see that it's a warm toned, shade um it's got some rose and like a little bit of a hint of pumpkin in it and a little caramel in my opinion so interesting shade the actual bullet even on these minis has a really nice shape and you can feel it really like curve around the shape of your lips which you know is really nice so here is the look from a distance you can see the luminizer and the warmth magic blush and yeah, I have to say these cream blushes are always some of my favorite. Well, they are my favorites. <laughs> I love the cream blushes from Clay de Poe. They are my number one cream blush. And I think, you know, they just perform really well on my skin. They last all day. They don't have that tacky, sticky feeling to them. And yet they also have a very natural look to them. And they last a, a long time before going bad. I have not had one go bad yet. My oldest one is two, two and a half years old. It's over two, but I don't know exactly if it's at the two and a half point. So yeah, I think overall very nice. This lipstick, you know, it's comfortable. I will let you guys know in the, uh, you know, thoughts and so forth as to how it holds up and what my thoughts are on it. So I hope that was helpful. I have to say that overall, I particularly enjoy the cream blushes and the luminizers. I think my look, although it's not the exact same shades used from the Clay de Peau duos, I think they are fairly close and it's a pretty good representation of what you would get from this duo if it's something that you are interested in picking up. The lipstick shade, I really like it. I, I think with this particular look, I'd like to go with something a little bit lighter and softer, maybe a little bit more nude, less pigmented, but I think it is a really nice lipstick and I really like the attention to detail they put in these little mini lipsticks as well. So 
Uh, that's it for today's look. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on it. And thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great day. Stay safe and healthy and I'll see you very soon.